Hey, welcome to NAM 2017. I'm Joe Morgan from Morgan Amps. And you guys are here checking out a couple of my uh, newer products this year, the MVP 23 and the AC20, the new non-deluxe model. Yeah, so the MVP 23 is the newest of the new. And, and what that is, think of it as more like an angry 18-watt uh, Marshall-style amp that's been uh, coupled with uh, a Dumble back-end power section. So it's two EL84s and two... Um, uh, 12AX7s, uh, solid state rectifier, but it's got a, um, uh, the tonality on it, especially when, like, I, I've got it cranked up right now. Really smooth, articulate, like, even with, um, even with the amp dimed out where it's at right now, you can still hear string to string de definition, you know, you can hear the difference between your A string and your D string. Uh, notes sing out and sustain forever. But one of the, the real cool things, and when I say dimed out, we're not very loud in here at all. In fact, um, I can take the amp down to a level where I can talk over it. And that's because it has my power scaling feature in it that takes the amp from the 23 watts that it is at full power all the way down to a quarter of a watt or any, anywhere in between because it's a variable pot. Um, at full volume, I don't know if our, you guys are ready for this. We have compressors for the... So tuning's optional on this guitar, obviously, but the, um, the benefits of that is you, you can have, you play a club, you can play unmiked, you get over a drummer, no problems at all. Um, but you can also take it into your bedroom at home and not piss off the wife or your significant other next door. Uh, the power scaling works in such a way that on both the AC20 and the MVP23, where um, it's kind of like a zoom lens, where if we, a guitar amplifier is a real simple device, and what we use, we use DC voltage to make us a small sine wave, a bigger sine wave, and um, in the, the last section, the power section of the amplifier where we have our power tubes, if I change or if I limit the amount of voltage that those power tubes have available to them, it'll change the output. The tubes behave the same way, but the output that they can produce is reduced. So like a zoom lens. So when you're all the way out, it could be 100 times zoom. When you're all the way back in, it could be you know 10 times zoom. So the, um, the, the power scaling works in the same way. When it's all the way out, I have 350 watts or 350 volts on the plates. When it's all the way back, I only have 35 volts. And the 35 volts on both these amps uh, translates to about a quarter of a watt with two EL84s. Now the MVP23, I'm playing it gained out here, but it doesn't have to be gained out. I can drop, it's got a master, and so I can drop the master down, take some of the gain out of the circuit, and it, it give you that punchy edge of breakup tone. More like um, maybe a small Marshall or Rootsy amp. But you also have the ability to take that clean, quiet tone. Down to bedroom level. And when you do that, the important thing to realize is it doesn't change the way that your guitar interfaces with the amp or your pedal board interfaces with the amp. So on, on some um, power scaling amps that I've played in the past, when I'd have to scale down because the sound guy's yelling at me, um, I also ended up having to change all my settings on my delays and my overdrives because it, everything got compressed and washed it, itself out. Uh, I'm only doing the parts in this amp that require um, scaling in order for the, the volume to drop to be scaled. I'm not scaling the entire amp like a lot of other manufacturers. So the feel stays the same, the touch sensi sensitivity stays the same, the way it interfaces with your pedal board stays the same, everything stays the same just except the, the volume level of the amp.